Hi everyone, this is your daily tarot reading for Saturday the 12th of January 2019. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm using the amazing Robin Wood Tarot for this reading. I would recommend this deck to anyone. It's really uh, got a quirky, unique style to it. And what I do in these daily tarot readings, they apply to all signs of the zodiac. They apply to everyone who's watching. So please share this on your social media. Facebook and Twitter and Instagram so that more people get to watch these because what I do in these readings I basically ask the cards what is the energy of Saturday the 12th about and how can we all make the most of that so we can have the best day possible so let's have a look The Knight of Wands, the Ace, why am I getting th reverse cards three days in a row? That is so weird. Okay, I don't usually get three reverse cards at, at all, hardly ever. And um, for it to be three days in a row is really weird because First of all, three is about communication and new beginnings. So communication with yourself or with the world may seem upside down. You may feel like you have no connection to reality or what's really going on. And that things that are meant to be clear are suddenly hidden. When the cards are upside down as well, it indicates that there's a change of energy. So each one of these days... Thursday the 10th, Friday the 11th, and now Saturday the 12th, are all very different in energy. So you, you needed to be on your toes to kind of keep up with the energy. So what the cards are saying today as well, before I actually look at the meanings, is try and adapt and keep on top of the energy. And that can be exhausting. So if you're overly tired, don't worry about that. That's normal because that's like when... Weather-wise, one day, and this is Celsius, it's minus 10 degrees, and then the next day, it's 20 degrees. It has, it has a major impact on your body, the change in temperature. It's, it can be really draining and exhausting. And this is what we're going through energetically, that we're really going through periods of major extreme happiness, like this day is, and days of unhappiness and bitterness and clouds so yesterday may have been a little bit more difficult today before i even look at the cards while well, i have kind of looked at the cards it looks really really positive okay so first of all we have the high priestess she's the second card of the major arcana and the high priestess is a lovely lady you can see her there she's got a book there and that book holds all the answers to life like the um what was it? The the library at at Alexandria in the ancient world that burned down. That had all the mysteries of of uh, the world that have been lost to us. Nothing is ever lost. And the high priestess in particular is able to access the Akashic records. She's got a pentacle there as a necklace. Spirit over the physical. She's got a moon crescent there on her third eye. She sees beyond the physical realm and into the spiritual. The moon is full and it's illuminated. So it gives her a larger than life presence and it gives her light on a very literal level. It gives her the light to read. It gives her the light to see what's going on. And she has a crystal ball there. So not only can she see what's going on in truth, in reality, remember the cards were upside down, so it may feel like you don't know what's going on in your life. She Today you will know because you have this crystal ball here. And her black hair, her black hair absorbs all of the negativity that may be around her. So she's totally protected. The blue and green kind of cloak is her being someone who's created from the intuition like belief creates gods and goddesses 
And we believe that there is someone or something that can give us all the answers. And we create the high priestess because she's just a symbol of the truth. We all have the high priestess within us. We can all do this. It's like a muscle. The more you practice this, the more you can do this. Some people have a natural aptitude and gift for it. Other people find it harder and are more connected to the physical realm. So the high priestess is you today. You embody her. She's the second card of the major arcana. So one and two is a relationship. So you have this fundamental lifelong relationship with the high priestess. She's passive and she receives all the information in the world. So if there's something that's not clear today, you will see it. How do I proceed in future? What do I do with my life? Why doesn't he love me back? When am I going to find a job that actually pays me? What's my life mission? What's my purpose in life? All these questions. What is the meaning of this life? Where am I going to go afterwards? Tune into your inner high priestess. She will give you the answers. The next card is the Ace of Pentacles, a blessing from the universe. The answers that you get from the high priestess will allow a path to form in front of you and you'll see the path and you can walk down the path and it's a doorway card and because this is a gift from the universe pentacles spirit over the physical so spirit air earth fire water you're knowing that you're a spiritual being having a human experience and that you can create your world the whatever way you want it to be is emphasized because of your extreme knowledge of where you're meant to go, what the next right path is for you, and you will take that path and things will blossom and thrive. So this is a day where you can enjoy nature, you can enjoy seeing yourself blossom because you have the answers. There's an inner fire that lights up and it gives you passion and it gives you force and power and hope and desire and a vision of the future and it allows you to take practical action to make your life better finally the knight of wands is a knight that is completely on fire he is so passionate he is in the vanguard he is riding into the war he's got this wand he believes in a cause he's fighting for a reason and he is unstoppable he will immediately rush into the fray because he is full of power he believes utterly in what he what he is fighting for and he's able to destroy his opponents through his passion to burn away the things that block him and he's able to really remove any obstacles that may be in his path because this horse, this fiery horse, is really unstoppable. The knight oscillates between being extremely passionate and inspired and following his path, and he can be incredibly angry and throw temper tantrums and attack others and destroy what they are doing. The best way to use the knight of wands today is because he's the opposite of the high priestess. The high priestess is calm. She absorbs negativity. She has all the answers. The Knight of Wands does not have all the answers. He has all the energy in the world. He has all the fire and passion that you need to be motivated. He is masculine. Building, creating, moving forward, overcoming obstacles, fighting, winning the war, winning the battle. She's feminine. She's about receiving information, taking things in. So the combination of the feminine and the masculine give you perfect balance today. Receive the answers that you get from spirit. Let those answers fill you with fire. For example, you are meant to be, you are meant to own your own um, house by the lake and you should have a boat hire and that should be your business because you love the water, you live, lo you love to live by the sea or by the lake. And um, you're meant to rent out boats and you're meant to rent out jet skis and do water skiing with people because you want to live by the water. You want to work with other people. You want to enjoy yourself. And that is what your purpose is, for instance. And that's a very specific message. 
So that comes in, that fills you with such motivation. Oh my goodness, I can live somewhere I adore and I can have a business where I take people out on the water and they pay me for it and it's something that I love to do. And that is the path that opens and that changes your whole life. If you're retired and you're at a loss of what you're supposed to be doing right now, you get the same message. This is what... This is where you're at. This is who you are. This is what you're meant to use with your talents and your time right now. It will motivate you to open a new chapter in your life and to move forward and to allow yourself to blossom and to maximize your potential. This is for anyone at any age and it's urgent. This is desperate and you, you don't have much choice today. If you open your ears and your eyes, or you're willing to receive any information, it will be given to you easily, and you will start to feel really, really excited about all the things that you can be excited about in the world. Um, your work, your daily routine, love, family, making money, traveling, forming relationships, Finding a soulmate, all of these things are going to um, really feel like they are within your grasp and you feel so motivated and hopeful that nothing can stop you. And you're going to gallop down this path and beyond the path and explore what is beyond all of this. And that's where you'll find a new practical future that you create from within. So this is the first day of the rest of your life. The other way around, if there is no fire, you get stuck in your situation as it is, and you don't know how to get out of it. So the answer is to ask for information, to ask for motivation, hope, and to ignore your physical circumstances as they are. If you're working in a fish and chip shop, and you're totally broke, and you're scraping by every month, you hate your job, you have no other skills, you don't know how you're going to get out of this, how do I go from working from a fish and chip shop to achieving my dream of being a famous actress? There's no hope. Ignore the physical circumstances, turn this around, close your eyes, meditate, ask for the guidance that you need. It will be given to you, you're supposed to be an actress. You don't need qualifications for that. You don't need to have been at RADA. You go for an audition. You're in London anyway, for example. You go for auditions. This is your passion. This is what you're meant to do. And a doorway, a new life will open for you. So change your life today if you're not happy with it. If you are happy with your life, it's, it grows even more. It blossoms even more. And you're able to enjoy the fruits of your labor. So whichever way you look at this day, it's a blessing. It's a wonderful, joyous, happy day to celebrate and to be grateful to be alive. Two and one is three and one is four. Four is about structure and stability. So the one thing that you can rely on today is that you'll change. The structure and the foundation that you're being given is a path which you can walk down and you can enter the next chapter of your life. So have a wonderful, wonderful day. If you would like a private reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the reading tab to audio reading. Please remember to uh, share this video if you like it, because I don't advertise and you're watching this because someone else shared this in the past and that's why you found me. So if you like these videos, then please do me the massive favor of sharing it. I know some of you are in the spiritual closet and you'll be like, Ugh, I can't share a tarot reading online. But if you can, I'd be ever so grateful. Um, also hit the subscribe button. And in my personal readings, I use the tarot and numerology and astrology. And by using all three divination systems, I'm an intuitive astrologer and tarot reader. So I look at the symbols of the cards and the astrology, but while I'm looking at the symbols, I, I am given answers and messages. They come through. They just 
I'm claircognizant and clairvoyant. So while I'm looking at the symbols, I just get answer, answers delivered into my head and I see things and I don't ignore those. So I'm not just purely an astrologer or a tower reader. I include the intuitive messages that I get. And it's by combining all of that that I can tell you what your life purpose is, what your vocational aptitudes are, where you've been in past lifetimes, what you're doing here in this lifetime, what you're meant to achieve, what your strengths and weaknesses are, what's destined for you in travel, family, children, romance, soulmates, career and money, health. If you have any questions of compatibility or what's happening in future, I can look at that for you as well by using the predictive astrology and the tarot. So if you would like a reading, gregoryscott.com, hit the book your readings button or the readings page. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Please hit the subscribe button and I'll speak to you tomorrow.